not, this is take three of varnishing a painting. First video, my head was cut off. Second video, I tried to use a timer so you wouldn't have to see me get into the chair, and it never started. So I did all that talking to you for nothing. Anyway, this is the third painting. Well, actually, it's the middle painting, but the third one I'm varnishing in my Siamese cat set of morning, noon, and night, each one featuring cherry blossoms. I used slow drying acrylics on this, so this set had to dry a month before I could varnish it. These are the first attempts I'm using, um, using the brush on varnish. I always use spray varnish, but developed a chemical sensitivity to all things resin. And even though I wore a mask in that, I just decided I didn't want anything that toxic around me. I always use this varnish for the sides, and just to be on the safe side, I already have tested it on a little art card I did with the slow drying acrylic. That side hasn't been done yet. Sometimes I lose track of the sides. Alrighty, there's the last side. I did these on white canvases and gessoed in black, but now they've come out with these nifty black canvases. Actually, I assume they had them before. I just didn't know about them. There's a few days left on the Aaron Brothers sale. I may run down there and pick up a few more. I got one just to see if I liked it. Well, not one. I got a few. Because you can't beat that one cent sale. I did find I, I quite liked them. The only thing is you still have to just so a bit because I don't like it to be all black. I like to have the moon nice and white and shiny. But it's a little easier just gessoing that moon white than it was the entire or 90% of the canvas black. But for this style work, I like the black canvas. Some of my traditional landscapes and seascapes, of course, I'll stick with the white. But for these sand paintings, that black canvas, when you streak it, and then plus these... Uh, these slow drying acrylics, I love them. And it made it to where I didn't miss not being able to work in oils. But they are a tiny bit thin, and having that nice underpainting is very helpful. Just a fairly quick process with this big old foam brush. I doubt if spraying was any quicker, actually, by the time I put on the mask, it got out there, and laid it out there, sprayed it, then, then I'd usually like to give it at least 24 hours before I consider boxing it up, although I'm sure these will go a lot longer than that before I sell them, at least I could box them up sooner. I'm going to lean this a little bit in the glare of the light to see if I missed anything. Yeah, I don't I think I missed that moon, but I think I might go around it anyway. It won't hurt anything. It's a very, very thin varnish, so the coat I'm putting on is very light. Also, it's a satin finish. It's not your super bright gloss. Gloss is okay. It, it's alright as long as you've taken the photo of the painting first, but otherwise it makes it a little more challenging to get a photo. Well, that should... What the heck is that? Oh, that's on there. Well, if it's on there, it's on there. That should do it. And I hope on, I hope on my next session to show you my actual painting, but I thought I'd work out the kinks in the photographing process doing this varnishing, since it's really no big deal watching me varnish something. But thank you for watching anyway.